Nothing is worse than opening up your fridge, taking out that fresh carton of berries that you bought just the other day at the store, opening them up and finding them moldy. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to keep your berries from molding for up to 21 days. So these are the supplies you'll need for this everlasting berry hack. First, you'll need fresh berries. Now, I'm gonna teach you how to pick the best berries because this hack does not reverse molding and aging in these berries, it only preserves them. The second thing you'll need is just white vinegar. And the last ingredient is just water. So water, vinegar, and berries. The other supplies you'll need are a colander, a large bowl, paper towels, a clean towel to dry your berries on, and if you want them to last even longer, a container with a seal tight lid. The first step for this everlasting berry hack is to pick the freshest berries possible. I find that Costco usually has the best selection of berries, but if you can't go to Costco, find them in your grocery store the second they get in stock. When you get to the store, this is how you can ensure you're getting the best berries. So take your container of berries, turn them upside down, and kind of give them a little shake, and check the sides, and make sure you don't see anything that has already been smashed or any existing mold. Now, if you check out this carton of blueberries, there was a ton of other cartons that had tons of blueberry juice smashed in there. And the reason why I tell you to avoid those is because that means that one of the berries or several of them have already smashed open. They're leaking sugars, water, moisture in those berries and that is a really good environment for mold to grow. Raspberries are one of the biggest culprits of this. Raspberries are almost always a little bit moldy by the time they get to the store. So really check and make sure that there's nothing leaking in here, make sure there's no mold, and then you can grab them. Another way to make sure that your berries are super fresh is to look at the greens on top. If the tops of your strawberries are already brown, falling off, brittle, you know that these are already kind of old and they're not going to be at their peak freshness. So look for berries that have really green, nice, full tops to them. Next, we wanna just wash the berries in cool running water. This takes any of that surface dirt off. It takes any you know, seeds, leaves, bugs, anything that's on the berries, we just wanna wash them off so they're super clean. Now that I have my berries washed, it's time to do the everlasting berry hack. All you need to do to keep your berries from molding, keep them fresh, is to soak them in a water and vinegar solution. I use my salad spinner. This is the perfect tool for this hack because it has a really wide surface area. The berries can quickly be pulled out of the solution using this little net and I just find that it's the most efficient use of space for this berry hack. If you have an Instant Pot steamer basket, you can use this. This fits berries perfectly, and you can stick it in your Instant Pot liner, and then you can quickly pull out your berries from the water and vinegar solution. I'm just gonna fill my salad spinner with some cool water, and then we are going to add our vinegar. So this is just plain white distilled vinegar, and I'm gonna add, that was probably half a cup, or a little bit more than half a cup and then just kind of swish it around a little bit to get that vinegar distributed. And then we're gonna soak our berries. So today I have strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. And I'm gonna start out with the strawberries because they're the most durable, they're the most sturdy. And then I'm gonna move on to my blueberries and then the raspberries last because they're the most fragile, delicate berry and I don't want them breaking up and getting my water dirty or anything like that. So we're gonna start with our strawberries and make sure you take out any berries that are already molding, if they have any soft spots, you know how they get kind of smashed. You don't want to add those into your clean berries because then they'll just kind of infect the rest. We're just going to let these sit for about two to five minutes. Now that our strawberries have been soaking in the water for a couple minutes, you just want to take them out and let them drip dry as long as possible. You want them to be super, super dry before they go in the fridge and that will help them stay super fresh as long as possible. Every single time I show this hack, I get the question, well, do they taste like vinegar? No, they actually don't taste anything like vinegar. They taste totally fine. What the vinegar does is it kills any existing bacteria, just like how when you use 
vinegar to do your laundry or to wipe down your countertops. It kills that bacteria that starts growing mold and so that's why it inhibits the mold growth on your berries. Okay, so we've dripped them really nice here. And I'm just gonna take a clean towel like this and then just let them dry on a clean towel or paper towels. This step is if you want them to last like as long as possible, but sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I'll just drip them dry like this in the colander and then stick them in the container that I'm going to be using in the fridge. And these berries are beautiful. We'll just let them dry for a couple minutes. In the meantime, we are gonna do our blueberries. So you can reuse this vinegar water. We're just gonna pour our blueberries <laughs> into the water here. And this is a good time to just kind of sift through and make sure there's not any yucky berries in here, especially with the blueberries since there's so many, it's kind of hard to know sometimes if they're all good or not. They look good so far and I'll just give them a little shake and let these sit for two to five minutes. These have been soaking for a while, so I just wanted to show you some of the other tools that you can use to get your berries out if you don't have like a salad spinner or a colander like this. So the first is using a net like this. You just take them out of your bowl, let them drip dry, and then spread them onto your towel so they can dry. If you don't have one of these, what you can do is just use a different colander, like if you have a really large bowl but you don't have a very big colander, is to just use this and kind of gently scoop them up. Next we have our third and last batch. We are going to do our raspberries and raspberries are super fragile and delicate. So instead of just plopping them in, I like to kind of put them in the water first and then kind of shake them out of the container because we don't want them breaking open in the water. And raspberries do not need to soak super long. I would say max two minutes. If you leave them in here for like 20 minutes, sometimes they'll just start to like break open and then you'll be left with some vinegary raspberry jam. <laughs> Since raspberries are basically tiny little cups, I like to kind of gently spin them in the colander to kind of get as much of that water out as possible out of the little cups like this and then put them onto your towel. This vinegar solution can be used as many times as you want and another fruit that this actually works really well on is grapes. Our beautiful berries are dry. They've been drying on this towel for a couple of minutes and they're ready to go in the fridge. So there are a couple ways that we can do this. The first way is to just use the container that they came in. I use the containers that they came in a lot if I know I'm going to use the berries up in a short amount of time. But if I just want a little bit of insurance, a little guarantee that they're going to last a little bit longer, then I use a Tupperware container. So I use these little meal prep containers with a tight fitting lid and that does helps air from coming Coming in and spoiling the berries even quicker. Just put a paper towel in the bottom of the container and that's just to absorb any extra liquid and then we're just going to take our berries and put them in here. Okay we've got our berries. They are perfect in their little containers. Now I'm just going to put the lid on them and then put them in the fridge. You don't need to rinse them after the vinegar solution. All you need to do is just Keep them in the fridge, keep them fresh, and enjoy. If you want the full written tutorial on this video, check out my blog post on my website, trytestedandtrue.com, and we'll see you next time. Bye.